We're here in South Orange admiring these beautiful street trees. The trees between the curb and the sidewalk that the town maintains. The trees are the teachers. They teach us that we're not separate from nature, we are nature. What we do to the trees, we do to ourselves. So we're here to say thank you to these beautiful trees and to inspire students and residents to join our tree inventory team. So what we're doing today is we're taking an inventory of the public trees in this specific neighborhood. So all of you will participate in some way in gathering this information and creating the South Orange public tree inventory. Why do we do this? We love trees. They give us fresh air, they clean the air, the water, help with stormwater runoff, provide shade when we need it, add beauty to these neighborhoods. I'm very happy to have this collaboration with Seton Hall University. Seton Hall University has inventoried their own trees on campus and Wanda can have a project for her students to continue learning about the uh, suburban forest. Two groups essentially are going to be looking at the inventory. One is the Environmental Commission themselves, uh, the members of the Shade Tree Group, which are specifically interested in maintaining the trees and helping protect the trees long term. The second group would be the Public Works Department, who's in charge of maintaining the trees in terms of trimming their overall health, the planting, the removal when necessary. So for both of those groups, it will be an excellent tool to help manage the overall health of the entire suburban forest here. There's a lot of money that we leave on the table if we do not uh, get this inventory. There are a lot of grants available for additional trees. The first question they ask, do you have an inventory? We have to say no or partial, unfortunately. So thanks to Seton Hall, we, at least we've uh, made some significant progress on this. It's gonna be a long-term process to count all the trees in South Orange don't know how many we have public trees. I think it's between 10,000 and 15,000. We're gonna find out. So it's gonna take a while. So, you know, figuring out what worked today and then and then doing it again is gonna be what's next. It's a living, breathing um, database. And so it, has, it is meant, it's not set in stone. It is meant to be changed and tweaked as we go along. One of our long-term goals is to have more individuals who are personally invested in and aware of the various trees we have in town. We would like people who are willing to take the time to learn how to use tree potter to be able to just, when they have some free time, inventory in their neighborhood. This tree is healthy, so we take a picture of the leaf and we see what the, the app says it is. Green ash. Green ash. Green ash. I learned that there's so many benefits that trees give us. They give us oxygen, first and foremost. Um, they absorb carbon dioxide. Um, when it rains, they also absorb rainwater, so it doesn't go into the drain. How amazing it was that just such a small group of uh, people were able to identify so many trees in one block and imagining what, like, what a huge group of people can do for this uh, community. It's also, it's beautifying our environment, so it's a great thing to have. We're planting trees every day, not for ourselves, but for those who come after us, for generations after them. Thank you to the collaborators for making this project possible. The students with their passion, Planet Geo, the software company that brought us Tree Plotter. Thank you to the South Orange Environmental Commission and residents who are helping with this public tree inventory and the Facilities Engineering Department for funding environmental studies projects for growing a greener campus.